Hey guys, I'm Joel Matthew Oliver, WBFF Muscle Model Pro. Currently six weeks out from competing at the WBFF LA International Pro Show. So, thought it was a good chance to take you through my own comp prep arms workout. As you're about to find out firsthand, the principle through this workout is stretch and grow. We're going to be placing the working muscles in fully lengthened positions, forcing the muscle fibers to stretch, and then, in turn, being able to create a bigger and fuller pump. So today's workout is going to run like this. So first exercise is incline dumbbell curls. Squat cable curls is next, followed by hitting barbell curls. Triceps will start off with a superset between rope push downs and overhead bent over extensions. Incline Smith tricep press next, and lastly, single dumbbell overhead extensions to finish this whole workout off. All right, so let's blow these guns up. Incline dumbbell curls are the first bicep exercise. First perform two warm-up sets, where be sure to allow a good hang between each rep to fully stretch out the bicep. Once you're warm and your biceps are stretched, we're into four working sets. First set starting at 12 reps. Work your way down to eight reps over the following three sets. Too many people have short and tight biceps. This exercise is to hack that. Second biceps we're into. Squat cable curls using a straight bar. We want to be doing four sets here. Again, starting at 12 reps and working our way down to eight reps by the time we've reached that last set. This exercise gives us a unique advantage of being able to concentrate on both ends of the contraction. Obtain a fully lengthened position to stretch the fibers out, but also be able to squeeze hard at the top point to help pop that bicep peak right out. To maximize the effects of this exercise, be sure to keep strict throughout the movement and be in control of the weight at every point of the contraction. Now we're into the meat and potatoes of our biceps work with straight bar drop sets. First hit 16 reps shooting for a sheer volume and time under tension. Once you've completed 16, drop the weight and chase after eight reps. Once you hit eight, drop the weight down again. And one more time, chase down eight biceps. Once you have done that, you've completed one full set. You need to do three sets here. Each set with use of three decreasing weight selections. At the end of this, if you've done it right, your biceps will literally feel like they're going to split through your skin. Once you've given your arms a few minutes rest and you've caught your breath, it's time to blow the other side of your arms out. Time to hit triceps. First direct tricep work we're doing is with a superset pairing. Rope pushdowns are the first exercise of the superset. Once you have hit 12, immediately set yourself into overhead bent over rope extensions. 12 reps again to complete your first full set. Next three sets you'll perform the same again, but set two is at 10 reps for each. Set three and four both at eight reps each. Now a quick heads up, before you even get into this working set of this exercise, be sure you've done some lighter sets prior so you've fully warmed up your elbow joints before putting them to work. Next exercise is all about sheer mass building. Your next exercise is the narrow grip Smith incline press. The reason I have the bench at a slight incline as opposed to using a flat bench is we're able to achieve a greater and fuller stretch through the triceps. And remember, this is workout is all about stretching to ultimately allow more growth. After your first set of 12, time to pack on some weight. Time to push out four heavy ass sets, each set maxing out at eight reps. This is a serious mass builder for your triceps, so be sure to push yourself. Push hard and reap the growth rewards. Go easy, and well, you might as well watch another video. The last tricep exercise to finish this arm workout off is the single arm dumbbell extension. This exercise you want to hit four sets. First two sets hitting 10 repetitions. Be sure on each rep to chase that lengthened stretch. To amplify the benefits of the stretch effect even more, squeeze with your tricep hard when it is at the bottom position. The last two sets increase the weight. It looks to be topping out at eight reps. Understand here guys, Having your triceps fully lengthened places it under huge tension already. Then self-inflicting a squeeze before extending is going to cause a ton more muscle damage to the fibers. And as I said before, 
That is what my arms workout is all about. Bringing about the muscle damaging effects that placing the target muscle in lengthened positions under load can generate. At this current moment in my training leading up to the WBFF LA Pro Show, I'm hitting this arm assault workout at least every five days. So the next time your arm day comes round, give it a go. Tag us in your post when trying it. And if you have any questions, hit me up at Joel Matthew Oliver. And for more workouts, training info, and motivation from me and the NZ Muscle team, be sure to regularly check back here at NZ Muscle.